Patrick Corbin, the winner in Game 7 of the World Series. How fitting is it here, Franny, that the first time that the Nationals are back here in this park, it's Patrick Corbin back to the mound. That was the only one it could be. Him or Daniel Hudson, either one. It was, But only Patrick, because he's here. Patrick Corbin, some great memories on this mound. We'll try and lift the Nationals to a win here today. No win will be greater than this one. Lifting the trophy over his head. The party was on in D.C. as well. Nats, Astros, yet again from Houston. Next. And there he is, Hunter Brown. The numbers on the season through 12 starts. Very good with the 3.69. He has 79 strikeouts, which is tied for first amongst MLB rookies. He's first in innings with 68 and a third, so he is off to a great start this season. Hunter went from an 0-2 count to his first walk of the night as he misses high to Lane Thomas. That'll be a walk to start things. There goes the runner this time on 3-2, and it's chopped towards Dubon, who steps on the bag and throws the first perfectly placed ground ball for Mauricio to turn two. So two out, nobody on for D.H. Joey Manessis. Swing and a miss, struck him out on a curveball. And Hunter Brown ends the inning with his first punch out of the day. Patrick Corbin going to work bottom of the first inning into the windup facing Mauricio Dubon to the first pitch is hit in the air to shallow right center Garcia the second baseman out has a play and he makes the catch Mauricio Dubon the former giant who's starting at shortstop is out on one pitch and he gets Altuve swinging at a changeup it looked like yep and it's something that I think tonight he's going to have to utilize a lot more Tucker three for his last 20 couple hops over to Luis Garcia who charges and flips and Patrick Corbin is through the first going to the count to Jamer Candelario try to hold up on a pitch in the dirt he goes too far Maldi's going to have to hustle to throw him out Candelario will reach ball that gets gets away from Maldonado will allow Candelario to reach on a strikeout Maldi down on that one knee not able to fully block that ball as it kicks way to the right almost in towards that Astros dugout allowing Candelario to get on one and two the count to Dickerson and he grounds one to the left side Bregman charges throws on the money Dubon's turn double play nicely turned by Bregman and Dubon a strikeout wild pitch and a double play and now Brown ahead of Kbert Ruiz 0 and 2 on the ground Altuve is there he will gobble it up and make the short throw to Abreu and that will do it for the Nationals in the second inning nicely turned double play helps Hunter Brown face the minimum. Abreu hitting 220. There's a line drive. Abreu starts the homestand with a ball to the gap in right center. He's going to head to second, cut off by Call before it gets to the wall. But Jose Abreu has himself a double to start the second inning. How about that, Julia? 1,500 well career hits. Yeah, big number. One of 21 active players with 1,500 or more. We're all witness. So Abreu at second with nobody out for Yiner Diaz. That's a swing and a miss. Good slider below the zone, and Patrick Corbin has his second strikeout. First and second with two outs, as Corbin walks his second batter in as many innings. Baldy has one career hit against Corbin in six at bats. It was a home run. Got him! 95 from Patrick Corbin. Two Ks for Corbin, who puts up another zero in the second. So back to back hits on an 0 2 pitch, and the Nationals have runners on second and third. This is where Hunter Brown would like to start to lock things down. The runners in scoring position numbers haven't been good this year. Round the bunt, bunts it up in the air, and Maldi's going to make the catch and throw to third. Safely in at third is Dom Smith, but a bunt attempt fails as Call pops it up. Got him. Big strikeout for Brown. Maldonado will throw to first to complete the putout. That's exactly what Hunter Brown was looking for, that curveball, which was seldom used last start. Looking much better tonight. So now he can see his way out of this by getting Luis Garcia, who bounced into a double play his first time up. Garcia now bats with second and third and two outs. Little tapper towards first. Abreu will take it himself. Hunter Brown works out of a second and third no out situation. Pounds that fist into his glove. He's pretty happy with that inning after a tough start. Oh, here we go. First big moment of this game for the Astros offensively with Yiner Diaz hitting with the bases loaded. Diner got a little aggressive last time and left the zone for the first strike. And he gets him to fly one into right here. Lane Thomas settles under it, and Patrick Corbin gets into trouble and then quickly out of trouble here in the third. Corbin rocks, kicks, fires. Swing and a miss. He blew a fastball by him to the outside. So Corbin has now matched his four walks with his fourth strikeout. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Corbin struck him out with a slider. Now the wind up the 1-1. 
Fastball chopped left side. Candelario cuts it off, moving to his left. He has plenty of time with Maldonado jogging down the line, and he throws him out with room to spare. And so Corbin accomplishes his mission. A quick inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. Sending us to the fifth. Mauricio Dubon leading off bottom half of the fifth inning. Astros getting after Patrick Corbin third time around in the lineup. And Dubon drills it deep to left field. Going back on it is Dickinson looking up, and that ball is gone. Home run for Mauricio Dubon, his third of the year. And it's 1-0 Astros. Three rows deep for Dubon, just enough to give the Astros the lead, and he sparks this offense once again. Now Kyle Tucker bats with the bases empty and two outs. Tucker drives one. That ball's high. That ball's deep. That ball's gone. King Tuck, number nine on the air. Two nothing Astros on a couple of solo shots. Good to see Tuck pulling the hands in nicely on that heater, giving his kingdom a souvenir. Dominic Smith, the batter now. Good power. Heads up. Tonight, runners in scoring position 0 for 4. This ball hit in the air deep to center field off the bat of Dominic Smith all the way back at the wall. Jake reaches up and makes the catch. And Hunter Brown's fired up with seven shutout innings. Got three double plays behind him and that play by Jake to save things here in the seventh. Gives the Nationals turn to Chad Cool here in the seventh. It'll be Maldi and then the top of the order due up here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Maldonado drills one deep to left field. That ball's gone. Third home run of the game for the Astros. Baldy connects on career home run number 100. Hundo. Congrats to Baldy snapping an 0 for 17. Needed that. And collects a milestone. A two bay on second, Bregman on first base, and there's two down. Jose Abreu had hit number 1500 his first time up. He's also walked and grounded out. Line drive, that'll be a base hit. Two out RBI for Jose Abreu, scoring his 1,000th career run. Jose Altuve, fourth Astro in history to reach 1,000. A lot of big numbers tonight. 2 0 on Lane Thomas, who's going to send one out to left center. Myers towards the gap. This one's by him. It'll one hop the wall. And Lane Thomas on base three times tonight. Multi hit game for the Nationals' leadoff hitter. Here's Luis Garcia, has grounded. Into a double play, grounded the first and walked. Lined out to center. That'll get down in front of Myers. Gary D. Sarcina has the windmill going. Lane Thomas will come around and score. And the Nationals are on the board here in the eighth. Heading to the bottom of the eighth inning. Thaddeus Ward, the new pitcher, facing Chaz McCormick. That ball hit high in the air to left field, sending Dickerson back. He's going to watch this one. That's gone. Chaz McCormick, the Chasmanian devil. With a ball to left field that kept going. It's his sixth of the year. The Astros' fourth home run of the game. It's now five to one. The kick and the pitch. And that's high and away, ball four. So Ward walks Myers. That's the seventh walk issued by Nationals pitchers tonight. Maldonado is on with home run. There it goes, the runner. Pitch is outside. Throw down the second, not in time. Jake Myers. Gets his left hand in there just ahead of the tag of Garcia. And that's his third steal in four attempts on the year. Now Tuve walked and scored his career 1,000th run his last time up. There's a line drive into left field. That'll be down for a hit. Jake Myers touches third and comes around to score. Now it's a five-run Astros lead as Altuve drives in a run to make it 6-1. to one. 